right, so back to this. So group coin of the day, so officially starting to do doubles now. Was able to fit in before dinner. It's about 4, 4, 8 p.m. I think I finished the first one about like hour and a half, two hours ago. <clears throat> so some decent time between, but again, right, it's what you need to do in order to actually be able to finish this game. So that's the big thing there. Um, so there's that, right? Mm. Put up my water. I really do need a bigger water bottle. Because I always finish the water in like 20 minutes, and then I have 40 more minutes to go. Oh, well. But, heck, you know. Beyond that, that's completely off topic. So regarding the pod itself, you know, the last part, you know, we made it to the Halloween portion, which is pretty cool. Um, Yeah, that was easily the best part was Yuri pulling out the wine bottle. I did not know they would reference that here. That was just, that was so great. So, so glad that that uh, happened, that we ended up doing that. That's just, that was just so funny. That was, uh, that was like, Easily probably the best moment of the mod thus far, right? But anyway, beyond that, right, you know, we're just – and again, we got some more clarity and clarification on what this um Halloween event or skip Halloween is. Still, who knows about the nudity thing, right? But the, at least Halloween, we know it's not a real life, but rather just an event in the game. <clears throat> but yeah, and it's something where it's like – I mean, we had the build up. Still, have no idea why they decided to break into school as opposed to just go to someone's house. Um, we had that. We what would you call it? Um, again, we have doing our poem sharing now, and then seemingly it'll just be over, and we'll continue on, right? You know, um, I don't. It well, assume given that we have the option to skip it, I'm assuming it's not you know that super integral to the game. I think it's just something where it's like you just like it's like an optional event pretty much like what i'll say so i'm not sure for when we go down yuri and then natsuki's route um we'll do it i, I probably will just because if you can skip the dialogue anyway like it honestly doesn't really make a difference but again the whole nudity thing right yeah just we will see and then you know i'll just censor it right so because i'm not going to edit it out so but i also don't want to take up like half the video so you know, that's, but that'll just be whenever that time comes, right? Speaking of which, it is interesting, though, and this is something I kind of noticed that since we picked up on Act 2, obviously, because now we're on Sayori's route. The MZ, you know, he's been pretty upfront, you know, straightforward, right? You know, with his uh, feelings and how he feels towards Sayori. I mean, it's like, he, he's pretty, like, what would you call it? Uh, I don't want to say transparent or, but, or like, cemented, but <coughs> it's like, I mean, he's pretty in tune with himself, so it's like he's not, like, deluding himself there. I mean, so the the big thing being, again, and we saw this in the call with his mom, right, when he told her, is, like, you know, the, the bigger worry, bigger threat, right, kind of there is, okay, what's up with Sigor? And the MC even kind of figured that out, right? Mm. But, again, something to where it's, like, so it is interesting, though, that he decided to tell his mother, right, and that's, like, most big thing but then it's also something to where it's like again you know that leaves i guess my my what i'm interested in and you know what i think will be interesting is like to whether or not he's gonna tell any of the r girls like i think that would genuinely be like interesting especially like if you were to tell monica there right i, I was gonna say because monica didn't have a, a route but that was completely unplanned so it may not be that she takes that kind of role in this uh in this, in Sayori's route, given that she was originally planning to have her own, but again, just didn't, it fell through there, right? But something to where it's like, you know, again, that that just raises that question there. So it's like, again, you know, what it comes, like, it'll, it'll be interesting. And that's one of the big, you know, questions or things that I have, right? I guess a couple others being, you know, um, I, I the other, well, a couple others, the other two being, I want to know how his parents got divorced, you know, what happened there? Because they were together in the past, right? So it raised that question, especially since they had that talk about marriage when he was like super young with Sayori, right? Um, and but then two, two being okay, you know, how did they drift apart? Because again, he was he's very much regretting, you know, that, right? Obviously, he says now it doesn't matter now they're back together, like they've reconnected, but still, right? 
you'll still have the, that regret. But again, it raises that question. It it raises that question of if it was something um, resulted from a singular event or just natural like drift. And if, you know, just more, some more clarification about what happened, right? But that that's kind of, the, those are the questions that I have. Um, again, do I, do I know, you know, I guess it's quite possible that there's another act. It could be like a third act. I mean, you know, and kind of who knows there. I really don't know how much longer this route will take or this mod is for at least the always route. And even once we finish, we have to go back and answer a lot of these questions. To Granted, granted though, you know, we'd end up being able to skip a lot, but I presume there will lead to some differences. But again, it's like, it does just raise that question there of, okay, you know, um, right of, you know, again, you know, just because what, what's the end goal, right? The end goal is, the end, you know, AMC is able to help Siori with her illness, right? And then they get together, you know, just, it depends. It takes how, just depends on how long we get there. And we do know that there's some, uh, you know, some, uh, some things that happen along the way, right? But oh, I, was, I didn't mean to do that, but again, we'll see, right? And that's why I'm doing these doubles because I want to get to that point, you know? So once, once I reach the end of, here's what I'll say. Also, one thing I want to say was, Yeah, this is a remix of the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like our reality or whatever. Or your reality. Our, our reality, I was thinking of our time to mob, but your reality. Again, I, I just wanted to point that out, but because they didn't point out in the previous one, but I will say though, hmm, once I'm finished with the right, I'll be, again, it will be a lot more, uh, what would you call it? Um, oh, I guess, I don't want to say satisfied, but a lot more like um more content because i know like okay you know this is how long the route is right but to the point we're gonna drive on so again we're gonna start off with monica as per usual right monica sayori yurinatsuki same order oh it's so we're not even having an interaction we're literally just looking at the problems right reverie funny enough that's a, a mori mod right i wake up cold black night silent and still Jesus Christ, the most inefficient fucking use of paper ever. Ball to my knees, swims in my, that actually is AIDS. Dust in the air, cold, where am I? Reach for a light, I need, is it there? Switch is pressed, I feel the warmth of my face and hands in my arms and my, I wake up, star glow, cold. Sound and numb, I reach my hand out, I have no eyes to see, but I can feel it. I press switch, warmth fills me, dark comes again, I die again, I wake up. Noise in my ears, voice is cold, I reach out and feel nothing. Where is it? Wasn't it real? Was it here? Everyone reaches, nobody can touch it. The dog comes again, we all die again. I wake up, here again? It's fucking reincarnation. This is fucking, I hate to say JoJo's reference, right? Fucking, uh, this is a dull D of Olo, right? This death loop. Or a fucking funny Valentine when he respawns himself, but. Oh, all right. That's why I was like, I, are we going to have an interaction or is it literally just reading the poem? I don't get it. He's like, I don't get it. That's a. Where the fuck did you come from? Since when were you reading? Oh, did we read out loud? Of course not. What does reverie mean? I don't think I don't even know what it means. Having a pleasant daydream. Oh, I guess Omori reverie. <clears throat> this fucking makes perfect sense. French word means madness. Appropriate for Halloween. Because I am. I just assumed it was a title, but you know how uncul. Or I thought that said uncultured. I'm like so distressed at the implication of Natsuki's sarcasm. It's not like something she. Oh, she's being. I'm a. I'm an idiot. Damn, that's crazy. Let's see how uh, your poem now. Let's see how terrible it is. Does it both mean relative to a poem? You'd say that. What do you mean? So blissful act can make the pain go away for a little while. Yeah, it's short term, you know. Damn, that was quick as fuck. I didn't know sharing the poems would be that quick. If I, holy shit, this long. But we've known that. We've just done it in the last part. But I guess who knows? Old friend, there is a dark and hollow thing that falls close to me and clings. It sticks to me and turns and turns when I spin around and discern in the dark and the deep, the faintest shape that it keeps. It goes away and the sunlight shines. The sun shines sweet and warm and kind. But does it really? Is it gone? Or does it secretly keep on? Is it really hiding there? Staring from beneath the chair, glaring from atop the stairs, nowhere but yet everywhere. The corner in the gap, I stare and it looks back. Wane, wane, wane down, draining, draining, draining out. It's very interesting. So we see a poet step out of the comfort zone when it comes to writing horror. What do you mean? I typically don't write darker poems. I'm better sweet. You're right. 
This was a real change. It was fun. I'm glad, glad my suggestion has gone down well. Frida would be fitting for the occasion. Give her two. Shut the fuck up. Why does the MC have to like freaking like one thing the MC can fix like anytime Sayori does something well or gets like praised or something, he's like, um, actually, it's like, dude, shut up. Like, let her have it, man. It's like, you know, if it's just you two messing around, right? But like, if it's other people, you know, fucking praising her, it's like, let her have it. Like, goddamn. It doesn't need to be the one to like tear it all down. It feels like that every single fucking conversation. Be a great horror writer. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Not big on, you know, scary stuff. What's this poem about? Oh, it's about whatever you think it's about. Try to sound like Yuri. I didn't write a specific thing in mind. It could be about whatever you feel the most. Hide away, always there, never leaving. That's kind of like Natsuki's poem in terms of, um, or like even Yuri's where it's like having something you like, you know, and getting criticized for it. It truly goes away. I mean, whatever you think. There was secret, scary monster, childhood fear of the dark. You made up. See, it doesn't just scare you. Maybe whatever it is drains you. When it makes scary, it's knowing it's always there. Funny enough, that's kind of like Omori with the phobias. So, holy crap. Safe seeing on it. Yeah, but you fucking idiot. It's what happens when you underestimate people. Don't bring yourself. Bitch, was everyone listening now in this conversation? Evidently, now I'm pl plus. Shut the fuck up. Natsuki doesn't need to say anything. Taking it back. Smile see contently, seemingly unfazed, because she feels the same way, right? Okay, it sounds to me you didn't see that coming. That was the club room. I mean it. You're used to map force and the use of dark if you make injury. It was very refreshing. Your favorite don't turn it. Shut the fuck up. Who cares? Man, I was great. Not spooky. This Okay, where's it? I mean uh Yuri's now. Ethereal. Earth and shore than yours. Somber sounds of midnight malice float around a chastised chalice. <laughs> yeah, they can't read the word chalice without thinking of fucking yandere dev hiding otherworldly winds letters torn from nailed pin nails pinned looming figure takes my hand leading me through a sympathy can cumbersome weights ride my shoulders with the security of falling bowl serenity of falling bowlers Arrow words are muffled by a lament false reassurance fails to dent the fierce facade a fleeting fear time is lost no longer here Cobalt nerves, fractured soul with the luminescence of coal. Clacking footsteps from below, echo, clacking. Echo, 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 echo. Prima sign. Went to, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't pick up on it. Would you like to tell us what you were thinking? I was thinking of fucking, uh, it's a bit hard to describe. Sometimes I don't know my mind. It seems to be full of noise. That's where I can hear. Trying to stop absentmindedly. She's like, the voices. Earth to your, ah. Sorry, I didn't mean to get sidetracked. It's okay. Don't feel like you have to rush. See, right. As I was saying, while I'm trying to capture film, I might have a bit of a dark night. Aren't all nights dark? Okay, this is a time where you can clown on Sayori. This is a time where you can clown on Sayori for that, right? Not the night outside, because it's dark right now of recording. Mm. Just like I said, out of water, 13 minutes in. Not the actual physical light, you know... Mentally, right? It's a math force, Sayori. You're trying to talk about when people are going through a Damn, she would relate. That's right. That night could be very fickle. It'd be a peaceful time, so all, but also a time where you're alone. Again, to reclaim some of that darkness. You do a great job. Really liked it. You did? I'm, thank you. Hey, wh when are we going to have the wine? Natsuki's for last. Holy shit, this long as fuck. The dark. Sometimes I wake at night, see a room devoid of light, and think of all the monsters waiting in the dark. I imagine what they look like. Maybe sharp claws and skin lined with spikes. Not that could swallow me whole, maybe red eyes that could pierce my soul. They could eat me right now if they want, yet they wait. Waiting for me to close my eyes, waiting for me to dream for the light, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Now I'm thinking about the monsters, and I'm still lying awake in the dark. But you'll need sleep eventually. So I quite like it. I, I assumed it was going to go somewhere where, like, the true monsters are the people we don't expect, or what we don't, or the people who we don't perceive as monsters. Let's see. Fears are very complex emotions. Challenging point is simple. Agree with Monica. Fears is something meant to be completely understood. I mean, just you, it's a feeling, right? So you just feel it, right? It's about fear of the dark, fear of the unknown. Yeah. There's the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. So I don't know, not knowing what's there. I don't like not feeling safe. I, I agree. Imagination plays tricks on you. There's no such thing. But like you never be sure. It scares me. Uncertainty. 
So I see it's fear, certainly fear encapsulates something as complex as fear into four simple stanzas. Let's see, okay, Sam, go away, do. We all done. Not spooky. Let's see, all right. Let's say that one more time. Anyway, moving on. Hey, we're breaking out the wine or what? Those have been pretty good. Just wait. Booker, what is his? I want to fucking read it. I want to actually read it. I want to know what his fucking not. Not probably wrote myself. What the fuck? Probably it's very appropriate, bro. So he just fucking pulled one from the internet, dog. You're a curse. Something trash. Why would you fucking read it? Even death. It's like that's so scary. No, it's great. Poems called Tominos. I actually have heard about this before. It's what would you call it? Um, I'm reading to you all at this very moment. Let's see, don't do it. Something bad happens to you. Yeah, right. It's called an urban legend for a reason. Something that's not real. Still, like see a dead on people who've read the poem. It's likely something tragic will eventually happen to you anyway. There's always some element of truth. Truth might not be a fact in the literal meaning. It's likely a message. Not gullible enough to believe. Let's see. I want to actually read it though. Okay. And yeah, because I fucking, I've heard about this before, right? Well, I guess shit, I'm about to read it. So, Tomino, so older sister vomits blood, younger sister's breathing fire, white, while sweet little Tomino just spits up the jewels. All alone does Tomino go falling into that hell, a hell of other darkness without even flowers. Is Tomino's big sister the one who whips him? The purpose of the scourging hangs dark in his mind. Lashing and thrashing him, ah, but never quite shattering. One sure path to Avicii, the eternal hell. Into that blackest of hells guide him now, I pray. To the golden sheep, to the nightingale. How much did he put in that leather pouch to prepare for his trek to the eternal hell? Spring is coming to the valley, to the wood, to the spiraling chasms of the blackest hell. The nightingale in her cage, the sheep aboard the wagon. Tears well up in the eyes of sweet little Tom now. Sing, O Nightingale, in the vast mighty forest, he screams, he only misses his little sister. His blind depression, desperation, echoes throughout how a fox pee and he opens its golden petals. Down past seven mountains, the seven rivers of hell, solitary journey of sweet little Tomino. That in this hell they would be found. May they come then come to me, please. Those sharp spikes of punishment from Needle Mountain, not just on some empty wind, his flesh pierced with blood red pits. They serve as hell as signposts for sweet little Tomino. Which is me, but I feel strange chill. Damn, it's because you're a fucking cursed. That's seriously too scary. It was all right. I should probably downplay it, at least to see what he's saying. I'd have to agree. Very creepy old fashioned feel. I that I wouldn't doubt something bad looms in your future. It's like you're cursed. It's like, of course, certainly eerie. There are a lot of symbols and metaphors I could pick out. Then I have to look at this poem more. Well, damn, if we get the bad ending, then we certainly made that a reality. <clears throat> you guys think that was scary? It's pretty much, damn, that's crazy. Who asked? Or well, should claim to be hard, edgy, or smart. I may respectfully disagree. The tone word choice matches the content. If not written that way, simply be edgy. I understood correctly. Tom was banished to hell for murdering his own parents. I, I didn't read closely enough. How'd you get that off the poem? Notice this Tom knows on the way to Vichy, the lowest of hells. Kill one's parents is the way you get sent there. See, I still don't like it. You guys can agree or disagree. Whether you liked it, you have to agree as the legend attached it. Well, shit, we'll see what happens to the MC. A good eye for him than you. Just in case legend comes true. There's probably a bigger chance something bad happen. Dude, shut the fuck up. I, I swear to God, I'm gonna make something terrible happen to the MC. Let's see. Hey, all right. Let's where's the where, let's break out the wine now. <laughs> let's it's one of the scary friends with silly pranks and dressing up's a lot of fun. Although I don't really care. It's just scary to think about what could be out there. Stop being chicken. You wouldn't get scared by Monica early. That's true. It's all after my expense. Never gonna let me live this one down. Touche. It's ghost story time. I don't really know many ghost stories. Let's see, sorry. Look down the internet. What the fuck? Like this one about a uh some kind of sleep ex the fucking Russian sleep experiment, dude. Is curious though, guys. Sights are sound scary. Sound scares me. Reading a griping horror story. The dark. It's reverse music. Well, it's cause it's not. Normal music is made to be like sound good, right? Like you don't make music for it to sound terrible, right? So compared to whatever is normal, a few reverse pieces, wrong, especially when there's vocals. Start hearing things that aren't there. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, there has to be something out there. You also laugh. Tall people, bitch, 100% is tall people. Or sorry, I saw on the floor. The noise that children's toys makes. Like fucking um, like wind up stuff. Like, no, I know what she's making. I'm thinking of like a jack in the box. It's creep you guys out too with you. I just found nothing to do with those children scary, especially in the dark. Baby's crying. It's annoying, but if I heard in the dark and there's no one else around, 
See, it's funny that you mentioned that. Don't you remember the argument you had in Halloween? Ba- I don't. Bitch, what? He's like, uh, no. Pretty quiet out. You could hear everything. I heard the sound of a baby crying, but it wasn't coming from inside anyone's house. There weren't many people on the street. It definitely wasn't one of them. It was coming from down a dark alley. It's, it's like, don't fucking go down there. Yeah, it's like, there's a toddler in danger. You didn't let me. You're too. Hey, 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 hey. No, that's his survival instincts kicking in. So, I was a bit scared of myself. Looking back, I'm glad you convinced me not to go. You know, Wimp has its perks. Let's see. Looks like she's been slapped in the face. Guys, do you not realize how lucky you were? Yeah, that's that's why I'm like fucking. Uh, I I wouldn't go down the alleyway. I'm like, I'm not sure I trust that. Like, Monica's like, it was a hundred percent a lure, right? Oh God, you guys have no idea what it was a lure. Did you not anything seem off about that baby's cry? Let's see, not really. Well, it's a bit repetitive. Like the cries didn't change. Let's see, guys, that's what serial kills do to lure a young woman. That's all. I was like, dude, that's like his survival instincts kicking in. Like he literally like saved them both that night. First. Dude, okay, the MC, I swear to God, he better get, like, he's going to get, like, clapped, bro. Like, 100%. He's not going to survive this. Kind of ruined the punchline. It's true. I mean, because, Grant, here's the thing. It's it's not like the old, you know, you roll up in a white van and then that has free candy painted on the sign or on the side of it, you know. It's not like this, like, cliche shit, right? You know, there it's, like, very subtle, right, you know. It's very like creative in terms of that. Straight into my eyes. No. They record a clip of baby's cries and hide the speaker in a dark place. They pray on one's maternal instincts because they know it attracts the sound of infants in distress. Dies in my lips is a cold sickness. Yeah, you fucking dumbass. This motherfucker, he like spoke up to try like prove points. Like, let's see. That's why he cries didn't sound natural. He just records a small segment and play it over and over. Let's see, the unnatural cries in the dark alley. Meticulous calculated effort to snare an unsuspected victim. Wait, hang on. Miss Kasumi go. Damn, I guess we found the victim. Kasumi used to HCA Ori and I. What happened to her? Sura so shrugs. We were told she moved away and suddenly to work in a different part of the country. Spread really scary hopeful rumors about what happened to her, but they didn't really make sense until now. She she had a child of her own that year. Well, not anymore. She did. My parents wouldn't really discuss her whenever I asked. They're super dismissive. You're they're fitting the pieces together, right? Again, it's like, well, I guess who knows what happened with the hanging in the room next door, but Again, they're realizing, you know, wait a second, right? You know, this shit was like real, and it this is what happened to them, right? As I actually believe, shut the fuck up. That's I hope she dies. Like I can't wait to get her out and then kill her in the bad ending. It's just an urban legend. What happened to the teacher then? She just disappeared, and his parents refused to talk. I don't know. But that seems pretty, dude. Like, cause this that's a hundred percent. Like, let's put this one right. Biggest issue child trafficking like it's like like people don't realize like how big of an issue it is and you know how like often it happens even in first world countries like in the u.s like we're living in right now right or i am if you're watching this like and it's it's not something it's not like the cliche you know stereotype like i said where it's like people roll up with the fucking white fans like they're they're subtle and creative and it's something the statistic is crazy it's like if a missing person isn't found, I think the statistic is like, if a missing person isn't found within a day, then it's like a 50% chance they're already dead. Or it's, or I'm not sure if it's dead, but it's like a 50% chance they'll never be found. It's, it's something crazy. Like, you know, people just disappear off the face of the earth and this is how it happens, right? You know, it's not like this very explicit thing. See, just misremembering. Well, on that cheerful note, how about we move on to the next story? To nominate Natsuki. Yeah, it's like, mm, you you stupid ass for, like, interrupting us. You know, I have one. Never said that. <laughs> Half the internet. It's not my fault. Okay. Who friends named Ai and Nariko? So we were going around the high school about people seeing going in and out of an abandoned house on the outskirts of town. People thought they were just drug dealers, but some swore the fact that house was being used as a cult. Ao and Nariko. And Nariko. Jesus Christ, I'm in trouble. Aoi and Nariko are pretty outgoing adventurers, so he decided one night check the place out. Yeah, you fucking dumbass. Like, that's literally Darwin, like Darwin Award. Pitch black. Luckily, Aoi had brought flashlights for two of them. Nariko on the other hand brought a knife with her just in case they ran into any trouble. Side so place freaks. We're talking, bro, what the fuck? Uh, wait, you've never seen my room. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, it's like, hey, what the fuck? It's like, sorry, I had to. Anyway, look around, find the door to the basement, stairs to the second floor, things like that. You should find source of smell. There's some weed on the table. 
Okay, so it's just a trap house. Suspicious, it's just a drug dealer. Or actually, check the basement. Well, and no, don't check the basement. Get the fuck out, right? But chances are there's more to it. No, no, I still want to snoop around. It's an argument. Nariko calling Ali a coward because she thinks Ali wants to leave. Since she's, okay, I'll leave. You know, you stay and die. Not afraid and go down to the basement. Ali gladly accepts and walks over to the basement door. As soon as she opens it, it feels start paying her back. Before she can react, she gets pushed down the stairs. What the fuck? This bomb, she realizes she can't feel her legs. Vision is blurred. She can better make out figure saying, is it her friend or someone else? Nariko's footsteps. She ascends down to the stairwell in an old grizzled voice. Bro, she was in on it from the very start. From the very start, now are, now are you going out, you calling sick. Miss out on the, all the talk about how someone heard strange animal like Ross coming from the old abandoned house. Bitch, they both fucking died. What happened to Nariko and Aoi? They didn't die, did they? Well, one of his, Nariko was inside on it, right? Cults provide good fodder. Yeah, freaking Nariko was in on it, right? So, or yeah, as soon as she opens it, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nariko's footsteps. Uh, yeah, it's like she was. Oh no, 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 no! Don't just quit. Let's see, there are quite a few novels involving cults. Portrait of Markov, something similar. Speaking of your in horror stories, how about you go next? Who still has to go? Is it Sayori? Let's see, give her your best shot. Walk it alone, one pale all night. The moon is graceful, casting your light down and below like snowdrops. You need your path. Something shambles behind you. You turn around, and look for what might be. All you see is a cluster of leaves rustled by pale air. So you return. You notice the lights in every house around you going out and flickering before fully extinguishing. To the end of steps, you advance towards one of them to investigate. Just when though, you hear something snapping, a broken twig. Certainty flowing around inside your head. Subconsciously start walking faster. The suburbs, bro, can't even live in the fucking suburbs. Until you find solace in science. The only sound being your heartbeat. It's quiet. Nothing bad seems to be happening. It all seems to be happening. If you look around, see you. you're in front of the house, your house on the street. No one's stirring, nor are there any lights. Pace and watch your house go through the door. The lights are on, television's on, no one's in sight. It's unusual. You expect your parents to be home and they've gone out without telling you. Couldn't be. They always let you know where they'll be. Your phone, you open up your contacts. No one's registered. How hard you try? You can't call out to them. There's a heavy knock at the door. You peer through a keel, but you see no one. Another, another. Cautiously open the door. There's no one there. No one's anyway. It's happened. Why are you alone? Piercing silence. Science all out fills the air. No, there is any way for you to find out. What a dumb story. Nothing even happened. Where are the scary monsters? You fucking dumbass. Didn't you just say you were fucking like... Natsuki's poem was literally about monsters not being there. Like, you're freer than the unknown. Yeah, you stupid ass. Sharp claws can be prepared for. And neck back science cannot. Well, something you know is coming or feeling safe when you're in fact not. Or a somber note. Counting you for good whore tale. I'll go next. Although, scary story. But I don't think I've come up with ghost story. I haven't read too many horror stories. Is a surprise. Damn, that's crazy. I'll make one up then. Oh, I can't say I've tried that. Trying to get out of telling a story? Of course not. Now I think about it. There's one I've heard of. Moon in the room turns serious. She was... I was like, did the music stop? Same intensity as she. Before she read her poems, everyone quiets down. A number of years ago, Tanabata had come along as it does every year. Story of a lost little girl. Where am I? She cried. She cried and cried, and hoping desperately she could find someone to help her. Little girl was alone. Nobody could hear her. Just all hope seemed lost. She heard a voice. That night, wonderful. The girl looked up. We're below. Before, there was nobody now. It was a man in elegant yukata. Wore what looked like a gnome mask, but it was completely blank. I managed to a tall mask, sin layers of all sorts. How rude of me. The man admonished himself. Come dear customer. Your heart seems unhappy. Why well, not take a look at my wares? Man says he gestured the masks. Take one that will bring a spot to your face. This fucking Majora's mask looked at the mask. There were ones that looked like frightening, ones that looked strange, ones that looked exotic. By your mask, mister. Sorry, this mask is very special. It's not for sale. Said, I like that mask. It looks cool. Man laughs softly. It has been called many things, but this perhaps the first time has been called cool. Like a fruit, picking one from the tree behind him. They're sweet and delicious. The girl reached sick. The man pulls his hand back. They're not for children. The girl's confused. So tonight should be fine. He offers his hand once again. So tonight children should become adults and adults become children. Is that true? This girl the master or it was. From a bin to it. It's unlike anything she had tasted. It was almost overwhelming. The flavor was wonderful. It's good, the girl said happily. The man laughed again. I'm glad you think so. There's plenty, so please eat all you like. She ate. The man took down a mask. What about this? The girl took the mask. It's like me, but she looks like a princess. The girl said, aw. I like it, please take it. Now money. I don't need money. Instead, I'd like to be friends. Is that okay? Of course. Now and we're friends. I'm glad the man said the girl. Do you want to put on your mask? The girl did so. Kind of strange feeling. Why is it? She asked at long last. I've dreamt to this moment, my dear, my Eve, my only friend. Smell beneath the mask, smoke to the lave, the stars begin to fade. 
festival of the night where children become adults and adults become children. Let me know. Our unconventional horror story. Wait, what? <laughs> the, the light of the stars. Children become adults and adults become children. I, I don't get it. I'm an idiot. Monster stories are more popular. Mysterious tones. Very reminiscent of style of Asian horror stories. Damn. Wonder where y'all are now. Weird sense of what's scary. Stories isn't necessarily meant to scare you. Death appears not to be frightening. It is Halloween. Things supposed to be scary today. Halloween's fun too, not scary. That's true. So let's agree or disagree. Someone's grateful. Not spooky. Not spooky. I'm not trying to tell a story. Something actually happened. Bitch, so it's a real life story. It's like, what the fuck? He's like based on true events. Oh, really? Yes, really. So it happens to this story about me. Is that true? What? No, it's not. It's different, friend, right? So yours is his only friend. So a friend of mine lived up alone in an apartment building. He lived in downtown, loved to party all night, and one night he was out as usual. Bro, you're in high school. Chill the fuck out. He's starting back home. With, Dude, chill the fuck out. He lost the keys was locked out of his apartment. He ended up having to call his landlord. He was pissed having to wake up in the middle of the night. You, you don't want, especially if you, because here's the thing, right? Generally, I like to rent through like leasing companies because again, I, I feel like there's less, it's more consistency, right? Because you're not dealing with like individuals. So versus like an individual landlord who you don't want to get on their bad end, right? Where it's like, you know, you don't want to have to call them for that, especially if you just lost your keys while fucking out partying, right? So, you know, it's like, then yeah, he's able to get home. So that's all that matters. So it's related to that comforting feeling. When he got inside, he noticed his keys were actually on the nightstand. So he didn't lose them at all. And weren't extra his landlord lent to him. Nope, he was able to recognize them by the keychain attached to it. So that's it. Pretty much, yeah. What's so scary? Guess you haven't realized it yet. What do you mean? The apartment was locked when he got back. Yeah, I got that part. But his keys were still in the apartment. So how did you suppose he locked him in? Because he lost him when he was out and they magically reappeared. Huh? Someone must go out in his apartment, place them inside, lock the door themselves. He always have keys where his friends and my friends and his landlords. He was brought his keys back, still in the apartment when he got home. Who was it? He never found out. It's like, you're going to make me permanently paranoid. It's like, it was me. I was there. He's, it's quite an enjoyable story. Short, the realization at the end definitely made up for that. Story calls on the real fears of the things like squares, stalkers, and killers. Yeah, it's like, you know, just real life, right? Things in real life, right? Not a home, hidden away, never to be found. I don't even want to think about it. The story wasn't half bad. But y'all liked it. It's been pretty fun. Hey, bust out the wine, break out the wine. We know that still exists. Halloween only comes. Yeah, it's like it's just an annual thing. May make suggestion. We all turn to look at her. Well, is it fitting for? Please pull it out, please. I actually have no idea what that is. I was like, please pull out the fucking wine, the Ouija board. Let's see if only you believe it is. Ouija board. On one hand, it's not very hard. I'm a bit skeptical. A lot of people are messing around with the dark arts. Just never get in debt. No dark school. They know anything. No one else. Did open, open a portal for a malevolent spirit. Who knows what could happen? It's like, that's a bit too far. Past. She's like, nah, I'm going to do that shit anyway. <clears throat> Spooky balls kills me. I won't have to do math homework that I've been procrastinating on. This is a lot more tempting. He's like, damn, this seems like not a bad, not a bad gig. Kukuri sounds the name the spirit will summon. Name comprises three animals, fox, dog, and raccoon. Some represent something different. Dog is loyal and protected. Fox is a trickster or a teacher. So Kukuri sounds different things. Who loves you? Who, whether you'll become rich. Hang on. You want to ask it anything? Yeah. Why don't we ask you when we're going to die? It's like, give me the date. And then it's like a year from now. It's like, fuck. You're like a gas, nervously fidgeting a strand of hair. There are questions you shouldn't ask, and that's one of them. Come on, Yuri. This is the perfect time for it. I don't think you realize what you're getting into. He stories people messing around with spirits, all with awful consequence. Besides, part dog starts to possess someone, you just throw a stick for it. It's like, when will I die? It's like, in 12 hours. It's like, fuck. Shinto spirit, not a demon or ghost. Not spooky is one way to boat outfit. Not dogs love bones. Just her who has to worry. So you would make a wonderful Medusa with a death glare. Why, I was about to say, why the fuck is Monaco so big? She's just in front. Never broken to have some illegal contraband. Just wink at Yuri. Hey, pull it out. Perfect for the occasion, right? That's what I've been saying. Animalistic wraith into the mix. Might as well. That's the spirit. Literally. Okay, then. No, Did no one pick up on that pun? All right. I, I, I applaud so Yuri for that. I I, I, I enjoyed it. Ritual 7. Count's dim. We're ready to go. Said open a window, which corn Yuri. Last spirit to enter and exit. Ambient noise from outside permeate the room. Any atmosphere then. Place it. We... 
we actually get to fucking do this? The Tory is where the spirit enters and exits. No. Tip of everyone's finger onto the coin. Careful not to let go of the coin. As if we do, you die. Let's get on with this. All right, all right. You're visibly composed yourself and continues. If you're saying, Corey, if you're here, please move this coin. Nothing happens. Just Nasky thoughts. It, it, it's moving. It's like, but because there's five fingers on it, fucking everyone's going to be like, all right, who's moving it? Quit fucking around. So you've been playing tricks. Coin initially in the red, Tori slowly slides across to yes. Did you guys see that? Natsuki's going to stay with disbelief. All right. Yeah. Again, Natsuki's like, all right, who did that? Who fucking moved the coin? You're a jokester, you are. The creek sounds like can be heard clearly in the signs. It's like, hey, who who fucking moved the coin? It's like, whoever it was, just tell us more crickets. Fine, I'm not bringing cupcakes anymore until someone admits to it. But not spooky. Stop calling me that. That was you, Yuri. She's the one who suggested it. No, notice who's not on the screen right now. They're laughing in the background. Let's see, I guess Yuri's scaredy cat. It wasn't me either. Yeah, see, Yuri's scaredy cat too. That leaves me and Monica. So you said maybe it really is Kokuri-san. Yeah, right. There's no such thing as ghosts. Spirit, not ghost. Same difference. Say as I didn't do it. Skeptical glare caused me to hurry on. There's got to be some sort of scientific explanation. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Einstein, what's your sign? Yeah, it's like, okay, Einstein, fucking give a, what's your answer? What's your reasoning? I'm working on it. it has to be one of us. Why don't we ask Kakuri-san something that I and her could have known? Like, what, is this about our class last year? It seems to suspect us the most. Something, what should I ask? I don't know, I think Austin Monica couldn't have known. Let's see, I know. Kakuri-san, can you please tell me what I have in the top shelf of my refrigerator? What the fuck? I was, it's like, wait a second. <laughs> it's like, uh, what? You just have one thing? And it's like, that could be like literally anything. And the question is, that's supposed to be. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Jesus. Just ask it a yes or no question. That way you don't need to fucking, the coin doesn't need to move around. Guess I'm kind of hungry. Banter appears out as we expectantly watch the coin. Suddenly the coin jerks a little to the right. We're not, not ski squinch, she scrutinize each of our faces. So goes I seem to be gluing the coin. Your face. And again, I was like, I was thinking we'd be able to move it, but it's just the board, right? We seem to wait with bated breath. The coin slowly inches over till our R. A. See where his eyes want while you're ever slightly backs away from the paper. That's the R A M E Ramen. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck in the freezer? Wait, what the fuck? I was like, oh, top shelf of the refrigerator. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I thought it was freezer, and I'm like, what are you doing? You really got to eat more healthily. So tasty. They'll be using Kukuri to answer such frivolous questions. We're proving whether or not one of us moved into the thing. Now you have the answer. None of us moved in. So is that supposed to mean? It's Kukuri san. Bitch, she knows. Say, you already got that fucking ramen on the top shelf. Seems awfully cheery. Mom, does anything phase you? Spend much. What the fuck? It's like, she's like, I, I've, I've been, I messed with the dark arts. It's like, we got to stay confident. It's the present. I see. We're, we're dealing with a literal spirit. Like, try to get you all to take this seriously. Can't really blame us for thinking this is all fake. I do think there's a trick. Natsuki, whatever you want, take this seriously. Then I'll take this serious. Wait, what? Let's see. Then I'll take this to serious places. All right. Let's see. Kokori sound was, bruh, you fucking 100%. It's going to say, like, it's going to be way shorter than she thinks it is. It's going to be like, you die, like, in 12 hours. I don't see a friend looks. We all wait for the coin to move. Finger feels cold as ice against mine. Coin moves from an inch over to the numbers. 31, 10, 20. <laughs> 30. October 31st, 2018. When was DDLC released? It was released September of 2017. Also, funny thing being that this mod came after 2018. I'm pretty sure it released in like 2020. So it's like, it's October of next. Because, okay. And, and this is my big brain, right? The game came out in September 2017. Assuming it is Halloween of 2017, this should be in a year. That's today. Oh, never mind. I'm... It's not even a year. It's today. It's like, I don't like this anymore, guys. It's like, well, shit, is it? We're closing in on midnight. You know, we better uh, better make it quick. Is a breath not being asked. That can't be true, right? Saying Kukuri sound. What about the why? Oh, hey, hey, listen, you fucked yourself. Don't bring it, don't rope everyone else into this. Hey, hey, we're, we're actually, never mind. You know, we're not female. We don't, need, we don't need to fucking worry, right? You know, we're, we're the only one not included. What'd be funny as fuck is if it was all different for them and it was like normal day. It's like not Halloween of this year. We gotta go to the 
okay, but there's a loophole. He's not a girl, right? He doesn't need to worry. Like some piece of paper and a coin's gonna tell me that. You look pretty scared. Shut up. Move away, you're a guess. We haven't properly finished the game. Certain procedure. There's no point. He's already broken the finger on the coin rule. What do we do? I'll come back to here's the thing. It wouldn't have even applied to him anyway. Because he said, you know, only the girls in the room, right? So it's like it wouldn't have applied to him. You better hurry up. What'd be funny is woo, he's a hundred percent, he's gonna get like contacted by the spirit like a hundred percent and it, it'll, it'll funny enough it'll probably be like the janitor or some shit right but <clears throat> that actually be funny as fuck as if he ran to the janitor thinking he was the spirit but i mean it wouldn't have bought him would be funny as if it moved but like it was a different day for the rest of the girls and only natsuki's was today clever i can't believe the game actually scared me so who it was who rigged the game had to been rigged well shit there if natsuki dies today then we know it wasn't Wow, it's actually fucking the bathroom, huh? They are safe with the faint moonlight. Bitch, turn on the lights! Between darkness and shining glass, day is supposed to be for a moment. Until I notice it. The dark figure in the glass. An urban legend that for involving mirrors begin with the rush. Dude, 100% it's like the janitor or some shit. They're literally in the bathroom, too. See, so stops me removing. He's doing so aside from being honest. I don't even dare take a breath. Start to walk from the lack of oxygen. The figure in the mirror seems to start wavering. See, it can't take it anymore. Bend over, take a wheezing breath. The figure ducks down. Huh? Is that... It wasn't even the fucking janitor. It was his reflection. You fucking dumbass. Yeah, t turn on the light, you retard. Oh my god. Let's see, glare at my reflection and snort. No one else. One hundred percent. The janitor is in the bathroom. Sam Saldo shot my compulsion. Sign bravado. Could you shocks? Slight loud echoes of the door reverberate. Remain quiet. Frigid with tap water sink. Reminds me of Yuri's icy hands. Probably hurry back. He didn't even use the fucking bathroom. Dog. Wrecking trip. Shake my head. Snap out of it. Stories aren't real. Ghosts aren't real. It's awfully quiet. Well, shit, if Natsuki dies tonight, we know, uh, Pan of Fear and Dreadland shoots. First glance, ghost. No. Wait, what? Dude, oh my god, what the fuck is going on, dude? What? You're all actually dead. 100% though, I would, because here's the thing, that's immediately what I would think. Like, if I walked back into the room and they all collapsed, I'd be like, haha, very funny guys, you know, this fucking prankster. But then, you know, after enough time, and if you, like, fucking, like, if you slap them, they'll come, like, they'll fucking wake up, right? But if they don't, then it's like, oh, shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Something in my peripheral vision. Oh, my God, the fucking paper. You, oh, my God, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Dude, is, don't, is this actually how, you know, this shit's gonna end? Because this is making it seem like, you know, this is how the fucking mod's going to end. You know, they freaking messed with the spirits and now they're about to get all like, you know, uh, and they're going to pay the price. Let's see, wait, more point. How's the coin moving by itself? What Yuri said, we improperly finished the game. Certain procedure. Sometimes if you don't do it all, it's not like ghosts are... Bitch, if you're literally looking at the penny moving, like that's what I would presume. Playing prank. He reached down, shake Monk's short. She's lying prone on the floor. I cannot feel dread that a bride will be cold. Reach down, freeze. Are those footsteps outside? Bitch, aren't we on like the third floor? Scan the bodies on the floor. All the girls are here. Subs grow louder. They don't sound normal. I was like, aren't we on the third floor? Starting to hear things. Blow rushing through my ears is drying out. And the sound of footsteps. Can't tell. Are they close by? Should I hide? Ask the fucking board. See, crap. Throw myself on the floor, squeezing my ass shut. Sound my heart hammering my chest, almost deafening. Trying my heart here. Footsteps stomping right inside the club room. 100% it's like the janitor or some shit. Let's see. 100% it's like the janitor or some shit, right? I was just warped down the computer program. Something completely, utterly unnatural. Raise hair on the back of my neck. What the fuck is going on? What is actually happening? Got to rush through and buy when Melee give me away. Sweat turns down inside my hair. Here, drawing here. Po, 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 is like, dare not even breathe. You're breathing and feed the smell of his breath, and you triggers my gag. So, this can't be, can I? Being with all simple prank. There's no way in the girls can manufacture this. Being this wrong feels wrong to my very core. She just has some curiosity. Look, whatever's hovering over me is almost overpowering. Instinct deep within me demands I keep my eyes shut. Can't help feel dread something horrific if I look up. Let's pray a thing go away. Go away. It's mantra I can help me down with this. Drown out the sheer fear I'm feeling. Sounds like chanting my mantra over in my head. Arouse the room has gone quiet. It's just a quiet. It's too soon to move. You have five minutes. Bitch, how the fuck are you going to count, dog? 
see, in my past take, I don't trust. Feels like an hour. It was probably like a minute. Then five. Open my eyes. Should I? Getting help from the R soon? Something happens to me. I can't get out for them. What do I do? What the dude? What the actual fuck is happening? I don't know what's happening, dog. See, do I? Should avoid end this tournament. Screw it. So also peeking out from behind. Nothing's there. It's an empty classroom. What about the girls? Like they gone or what? Well, okay. I still gonna say, can I? He's probably dead. Please wake up. Just dude. Okay, but how? How? That's how. Dude, I'd be so fucking livid in this moment. I would be so pissed. Because all the girls were in the room lying down. So they would have needed to make it so that the coin would move on its own. But then also that they had someone else just readily outside to fucking walk into the room, right? And I was tearing up from mirth. What do you think we're actually dead? It's all sit up. Scaring you twice. Said it is Halloween. I think it's just a prank. The more the footsteps, of course. How the fuck? A week before Halloween. But how were you able to rig though? Wait, no way. So what this is saying, she's basically saying the entire fucking thing was a setup. Because what that tells me is that she knew about, okay, you know, the ramen on the top shelf of Sayori's fridge. So literally from the very start, the entire game was a setup. But the issue with that being how the fuck do they know the MC was going to leave the room? I don't know. But that means like, because at first I thought they had only planned this after he had left. But even from the very stars of set, dude, if I was the MC in this situation, I would be so fucked. I would like be livid and like pissed to the point where I would just need to leave. Like I would not be able to stay in that room. Like I would need to like leave and like think about it. Right. I would be so livid. Like I would be just done. Like I would be like, I, I would just be like speeches. I would like just need to leave. Like I could not stay in that room. The query sign was right. No matter what answer Monica made it give. Okay, so Monica was the one moving it though, right? So let's be so literally it was an entire setup from the start. We record some footsteps, send them to me so it can make it sound like there's something. All tension. So there's a rational explanation. Our girls laugh, can't help but join it. Here's the thing. I don't think I could be like MC in this situation. I don't think I could be MC in this situation. I would be like legit livid. I would just need to leave. I could not be there, right? I, I would, it would be relief, but it's also like, you know, what the fuck was that? Like, why? Like, I was legit worried. Like, why would you guys do this? Like, I, I just could not be there. Like, man, well played. You got me good. I'm curious though. How'd you get in our person? What do you mean? Game's up. I know it's just a prank. What do you mean? Are you really going to keep up the joke? Yeah, I came inside when I was on the floor. It's all gurgly and raspy and kept making these noises. Because this is what the MC was saying, right? Like he was saying, well, I'll sound dumb. We'll try and mimic him. It's something like, Poe, what are you talking about? I didn't ask anyone else to help out. I couldn't take the risk of having someone report that. Ruse simply rigged a Kukuri sound. But then how do you explain that? Because the MC, I mean, we saw him experience it. Because that would be a top tier troll if like the MC just came, pulled this shit out of his ass. Right? But he didn't. We literally saw it, right? So it was like, See, as far as we're concerned, we're the only ones in the building. What? Yeah, I was completely serious. The only things you do is deliver the move in the corner. I was touching ring the speakers. Nothing else? So you swear you're telling the truth. So you're never lies. So that means... Wait, so you guys didn't hear it? Shane's looks a bit warm. Man. See, I'm pretty sure it was just us. Because we saw him hear it, right? I didn't hear anything. I looked of alarm. Relax. There's nothing there. It's okay. You know, there's some spooky... Oh, so shut the fuck up. Not spooky. See, but we, we know... You know, we know, right? Let's just imagine it, right? I wouldn't exactly say that. Fit call it a night. You think I'd grown out of hell. Say so maybe your eyes and then we can join. I can't believe they rigged it from the start. Because at first, I thought they were going to basically say that. That they were going to say that, uh, what would you call it? Um, that, you know, they had only rigged it from when he had come back. But that also doesn't answer the question how it moved on its own. Because none of them had that, right? Yeah, that doesn't explain how it moved on its own because they didn't plan that. Monica just moved it around and had the speakers, right? But yeah, that legit doesn't explain how it moved on its own either. And the MC didn't bring that up as well, as well, along with the voice, right? Hearing more about this stuff. You okay? 
Yeah, I'm good. I was just thinking about the Ouija board. The thing really got to you. It's a little scared, even though I'm on, I'll see you in school. But it's not that. It's how did it move on its own? Like, because again, right? Those girls got me good. But again, it doesn't explain how it moved on its own or the voice he was hearing. Was re- They didn't. That's why I was like, when well, I said she rigged the actual ritual, now she moved the coin around. There's no way she could move when she was on the floor. The entity. So does that mean? Take it back. I hate Halloween. That's why I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm fucking ending it after this. I'm done with that. Holy shit. I was like, I was like, what the fuck was going on? Because I was like, I was like, there's no way they could have rigged it at that level in that it are we in act three? What the fuck is going on? Okay. I'm going to end it here. Holy shit, dude. That was, that was wild. And I, I'll say if I was an MC situation, I'd hate to say it. I wouldn't laugh it off. I would be just livid. I would need to like leave the room. I like, I just, I couldn't be there, but it's like, I was like a hundred percent there's cause he even brought it up. What I said is that the coin moving by itself. I was like, there's no way it was that in depth. Like, again, there was 100% some supernatural element. But again, with that, I'm going to end it. That was pretty cool, though. I I enjoyed that, right? You know, that was at first I was like, what the fuck is going on? Where's this going? But again, right? And then now we're, I mean, it's seemingly winter. You know, that's what I'm guessing. So we're in a different part or a different season, right? Post Halloween, different, almost like a different part of the game. It's not, it does set Act 3, but I guess like Act 2 or 5, whatever, but yeah, I'm just going to end it here. I don't really got anything else. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.